once a bustling downtown, most of the storefronts in Lawrenceville, Virginia, now sit empty. This is a poor county. This is a country, a very you know, farm agricultural county. It doesn't have a lot of industry. But it does have one major economic lifeline, a level three state prison. First and foremost, I do not want the prison to close. Right? This is a small community. It's a impoverished community. We don't need to lose any jobs. Brian Roberts started working for the sheriff's office in Brunswick County 25 years ago. That's the same year the Lawrenceville Correctional Center opened. The first half of life of the prison, it was an asset. But in recent years, Roberts says the prison has become a liability. I think the 911 call came in and said, We need a deputy at Lawrenceville Correctional Center ASAP. Okay, what's going on? All right, somebody dropped some packages. We have an inmate on the outside of the building with a rope trying to get them. We got six inmates on top of the building. They escaped from their housing unit and was running around on the campus. And they need to come right now. It's pretty crazy. Between January 1st of 2021 and May 20th of this year, the Brunswick Office of Emergency Communications received 204 calls for service from the prison. Of those, 39 were for overdoses and 21 for person unconscious. Uh, they believe that it's been all is unsure at this time. And prison calls for service over time have skyrocketed since 2018. We got one unresponsive. It's OD, but he, they say he's breathing possible OD. Two Narcan was given. And in the last four months, two calls turned into hazmat situations. Brunswick County 911, what's the address of emergency? Uh, we had a couple of inmates that um, have been exposed to um, something. I don't know what it was. And um, they're passing out. How many? It's like four. It's like four of them. Uh -huh. Now she's saying it's like five or six of them. Our first mass casualty was a group of people that was exposed to a drug that we still do not know what it was. We had to put our squads out of service for 24 hours. The Alberta Volunteer Fire Department is one of three EMS agencies that responds to calls at the prison. My biggest concern is the safety of our volunteers and our providers not knowing what we are going into when we go over there. And Chief Ted Smith says when his crews constantly get called to the prison, it's the citizens of Brunswick who suffer. When the call volume up, it, we are constantly going over there. We have had calls that we have had citizens' heart attacks, diabetic emergencies that was in our first year area that we were in our second year area trying to cover a mass incident for GEO. GEO Group is the private company the state contracts with to run the Lawrenceville prison. It is the only privately run state prison in Virginia. In agreement, this 2020 state study found saved the Commonwealth $9.3 million for fiscal year 2020. Is that it's a failed business transaction right now. They obviously have a staffing issue many different ways to look at that. They have a shortage of staffing issue. They have an integrity of staffing issue. To his point, just in the first half of this year, the Department of Corrections assessed GEO $2.2 million in liquidated damages for failing to comply with the staffing requirements of the contract. Robert says Governor Glenn Youngkin's Secretary of Public Safety and Homeland Security, Bob Mosier, actually came down on August 25th and met with him and executives from GEO about the problems. That's when he learned a shocking statistic. At one site contributes to over 50%. I think he quoted around 55% of all the overdoses in the entire system. I was pretty startled. Also, there were five inmate deaths at Lawrenceville in fiscal year 2021. By fiscal year 2022, that number was up to 12. Numbers the sheriff says show it is time for change. The most perfect world is to turn it back into a state-run facility. The second most perfect world is the state hold GEO accountable or they figure out their contract to do better. Whether that's an accountability do better or whether that's change companies do better or, or what that is. In the meantime, he has a message for the people who run the prison. You know, do better, right? I mean, it's real simple. Be a good partner. You were a good partner. You failed this community. Just do better. Figure it out.
Now, in a statement from Governor Youngkin's spokesperson, Macaulay Porter, she said the Department of Corrections is looking into this matter and the facility is submitting a plan to address these issues. We asked GEO Group what they are doing to address the problems inside the prison. A spokesperson emailed us a letter sent to the head of the DOC on August 23rd. In that letter, GEO Group Senior Vice President James Black said due to the recent overdoses, the facility was placed on restricted movement status to curtail the movement of contraband by limiting the movement of inmates. Some of the other solutions Black mentioned, systemic searches and mass urine testing, transferring the inmates involved in the overdoses to other facilities, investing in a state-of-the-art drone detection system because some of the contraband was being dropped by drones, implementing a pilot program to scan mail for enhanced contraband detection, and increasing officer pay to $20 an hour.